the truth. Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. So the question that I have today comes from Sharon on Instagram. She messaged me and said, hello, Allison. My name is Sharon. I'm 38 and I live in Massachusetts. I live in Connecticut, so we live really close, Sharon. I have been married to my husband for 11 years. The other day he left his laptop on and unlocked. I couldn't help myself and I snooped. I found an enormous amount of transgender sites porn sites and videos on his computer. I am very confused by this. Is my husband gay? Should I be concerned? Should I leave him? Please help me. Okay, I am gonna help you, Sharon. No way that I can tell if your husband is gay from the information that you gave me, Sharon. I would need to know him, find him sleeping with another man. I can't tell you that from that information. What I, I think the question that you were trying to ask me though is husband gay for watching transgender porn? The answer to that question is a resounding no. Many heterosexual men date, are attracted to, sleep with transgender women, and watch porn that involves transgender women. People get confused about, I guess, is the genitalia thing. I don't believe that that has everything to do with it, or most of what draws men to us. Men are definitely attracted to our femininity, and that's the bottom line. So no, I don't think that your husband is gay for watching transgender porn and what he found on his laptop so far. Should you be concerned? I think you should, because you're upset by it, obviously. And I think that's an issue you need to work through yourself. The other reason why I would be concerned is because a lot of times, honestly, I believe that this fantasy leads to a reality for many men. I wouldn't say anything yet. I would process your feelings. I would pay some extra attention to your husband. Question him why he's leaving late at night, if he's late from work, um, he's acting strange, distant, if he's getting phone calls late at night, or just throughout the day from someone that you don't know. Phone calls that seem strange, keep an eye on and question. Basically any behavior that a cheating person would partake in is what you need to look out for. You are a married woman and you need to protect your finances, you need to protect your feelings, and most of all you need to protect your health. Because if someone goes outside of their relationship, they are bringing possibly diseases and other issues into the other person's life. It doesn't need to affect your marriage and you don't need to break up. That's the main point I kind of want to make to you. If you really feel like this bothers you after you've given yourself ample time to process the situation, I think you should sit down with your husband and I think you should talk about it. It may be embarrassing for him and he may walk away or deny and not want to talk about things. It may take a few times of you sitting down and talking to him and it may even take an argument to, to actually start beginning to talk about this situation with him in a realistic way. And sometimes people do need to fight, couples need to fight, friends need to fight, family members need to fight to get issues out in the open and move through them. So prepare for that. No hopefully nothing violent. I'm not saying like smack him in the head with a frying pan or something. I'm just saying a verbal argument may happen. And I think that is healthy every once in a while. You may even find that you'll want to start trying new things in the bedroom with him. You can also try watching the porn he likes when you guys are intimate together. And I know that that may seem unappealing right now, but you may be surprised and you may actually really enjoy the things that he wants to do. And you may enjoy the transgender porn yourself. You never know. And most likely, if that does happen, you will be closer than you've probably ever been. So that's another plus. And I hope that helps you, Sharon. I hope that you guys get through this and everything will be okay. Please update me and let me know what happens. And as always, everyone, if you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button below. Like this video, share it on your social media. Also, please comment. Let me know what you think Sharon should do, your opinion on my answer, and other questions that you have for me. And I'll see you next time, guys.